trying to absorb what the Fed had to do, navigating a peak in inflation. Where does that leave you uh, with regard to how the market is positioned entering next year? If the good news is we burst two out of the three bubbles. Uh, we burst interest rates at 10-year Treasury at 162 made no sense. Bonds were at a bubble level. Uh, growth stocks were at bubble levels at the beginning of the year. And you could actually argue we burst three out of four because we burst the crypto bubble as well. And bubbles are dangerous things. And when they exist, people can lose a lot of money. And unfortunately, they did. But we were able to take those risks off the table. The, the fourth one that's still out there is China residential real estate. Um, it is still way overvalued compared to annual incomes, monthly incomes. There was a lot of source of growth in China. And that is still not, although prices have come down, still not come down enough. So on the positive side, we've gotten rid of some excesses. The one thing that I missed was I didn't think the Fed was going to come out and try and cause a recession. And the market clearly thinks they are. And that's been very tough on cyclical stocks. Right. It absolutely has. And so that is the big call into next year as to whether, in fact, cyclicals have perhaps already priced in.